So we've introduced several uh, classes of matrices, an entire zoo, as it were. We've introduced vectors. We've introduced matrix addition. And now we're trying to introduce matrix multiplication. And really, that was the whole motivation for this detour into matrices in the first place, was to try to make a system of linear equations. Remember, looks like this. It's a mess. We wanted to make this look like a single equation, which would require introducing a matrix for the coefficients, a vector for the unknowns, and then multiplying them somehow. So let's try to tinker around to see what would happen. Um, suppose our system of equations were really bx is equal to c. So what does that even mean? That would mean that it would be, it's a n by p matrix. So that would be b11 x1 plus dot 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 plus b1 p xp is equal to c1 and so on all the way until we get to b n1 times x1 plus dot 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 plus b n p of xp is equal to there's an equation, so that'd be c of n, right? So these two are equivalent ways of writing the same thing. And so far, this is just my assertion. We're seeing what will happen if this is true, right? Now, how, how do we multiply matrices in general? That's where this new a comes in. If we have a times c as a vector, that's equal to a, the matrix multiplication of a, and the product of b times x. Now, most, most of the time we want to preserve, when generalizing something like multiplication from numbers to matrices, we want to preserve the properties we know and love about multiplication. And one of the properties that I would fight really, really, really hard to have and preserve is associativity. So, this is what I want. I want it. I don't know if it's true. But what would that look like? So, Let's try rewriting this using summation notation. So basically, this would look like um, if we look at the jth equation, this would look like summing over k equals 1 to p. B, J, K, X sub K. And this weird guy is called a sigma. It's the capital sigma from the Greek alphabet. And what this really means is that we're going to use this as the template term, the summoned, and we're just going to plug in K equals 1 for the first term. So if K equals 1, then B, J sub 1, because that's K, X sub one, then we do, we add to that something similar for the second term, where k is equal to two now, if two is less than p, p is the upper limit where we'll shut it off. So then you have b j sub two, x sub two, plus, and then you increment k, and so k is three, you have b j sub three, x sub three added to the guys, and so on, all the way until the end, when k is equal to p, then you add that, x sub p, and you stop. That's it. So that's what the sum convention means. 
and we do that, then AC, the ith equation in that matrix multiplication is going to be, now we're going to sum over the j's, j equals 1, 2, n of a, i, j, c sub j. So that will look like a, i, 1, c, 1, plus dot, 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 plus a, i, n, c, n. But we have a definition of c sub j. So this is sum of j, 1 to n, a, i, j of the sum from k is 1 to p, b, j, k, x sub k. Now, here is where it gets interesting, because c sub 1 just has this mess with j such 1. c sub n has this mess but with j set to n. And so you can do distributivity and then reorder things to make them coefficients of the x and that is the same as summing from k is 1 from 1 to p of j is equal to 1 to n a i j b j k of x of k. So that was pretty quick. Let me try just to make sure we're all on the same page. Walking through it a little slower. You have a i j times the sum of summing over k b j k x sub k and we're summing over j so we can use distributivity to move the aij in and then we can, uh, dun, 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 what can we do? Then we can factor so that we gather coefficients of x sub k. But we're still summing over k, so that's the same thing as finding all the coefficients of x sub k and then summing over all the x sub k. Right, that's how we get from here to here. It's just factoring and we keep summing and so that is what we've done. But this, in parentheses, is precisely what we want. We want a, B to be a, well, I ranges over what? From 1 to M. So it's an M by and K ranges over 1 to P. So this is a M by P matrix. And its I kth component is equal to the sum over J of A, I, J, B, J, K. So that is the proposed definition for matrix multiplication based purely on making the matrix multiplication of a matrix and a vector of appropriate dimensions give us a system of linear equations. So this is all consistency check stuff.